Hi, this is Thundee from borderwork.com and today I'll be doing a review of the new HTC Evo uh, which is a top rate first class Android phone on Sprint Network. As you can see it has a very gorgeous large LCD screen, uh, 4.3 inch screen. Um, so just take a look at the physical features of the phone. Uh, there are no front, no buttons on the front of the phone. Just has uh, touch sensitive buttons for the home menu, uh, back as well as search. On the right hand side, it has have a your volume rockers. Uh, top of the phone has the uh, hold button or your lock button as well as the 3.5 mm jack. There's nothing on the left hand side and the back of the phone. You do have your 8 megapixel camera, dual flash, the speakers as well as the kickstand, which. Um, comes in handy is very nice especially when you're watching videos or sprint TV in this case so that's a look at the hardware now let's just take a look at the software this is your standard Android uh, 2.1 with uh, HTC Sense UI on there uh, as you can see the phone is very very smooth We're running the uh, 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor um, it's uh, everything is very fluid everything uh, so far with use has been very very uh, easy and, and smooth uh, one thing that we couldn't really test out was the 4G network because um, in Massachusetts 4G isn't uh, available yet but um, I was able to test out Fring and do some Skype calls which is very nice worked very well um, we'll try to attempt that now and see if we can place a Skype call and see how that goes all right, so I have um, Skype call set up with uh, Shaft 2K. Can you say something? <laughs> anyway, um, it's a little echoing, but it, it's fine. So uh, yeah, this is um, you know basically video chat um, with Fring, which works very well. I can see you're using Skype for this. Uh, you know, you, like I said, you can use the kickstand to put it up. Uh, don't mind Shafter Key there. He's um, he's amazed by this technology. I, I'll say that much. But um, yeah, so that's a quick sample of how Fring works. Uh, it's very easy to use, easy to set up, and you can um, basically make your video calls and uh, you know all that kind of fun stuff. So um, works very well. Um, quality's been good. Haven't had uh, much issues. I mean, it's Skype, so you do have some. Uh, drop calls or signal qualities once in a while, but other than that, uh, it works well. Works well on 3G, 4G, but um, you know, so it's pretty nice, and Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, so let's move on to other parts of this review, and end this call. Let us shaft. Uh, GC Sense UI is Sense UI is very nice, especially I do like the uh, the uh, music app that ha you have here. Which, um, also gives you good uh, sound feedback from the um, microphone. Sorry about that. Um, good uh, feedback from the stereo speakers, which you can hear off. Um, also, again, you can cycle through different uh, albums easily and also going through different individual songs things like that so it's a very good app to have now i'm sure you guys are wondering about the uh the camera 8 megapixels 720p um take a look at the camera itself they are no physical buttons for the camera so you actually do tap on the screen to take pictures uh look at the camera settings here um you know you have your basic settings you can change your white balance uh resolution all that fun stuff um, you can also geotag uh, pictures, so you know you know where you took the pictures. You know different other settings like grayscale, negative, sapphire, and so on. You can also change your sharpness, contrast, um, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, video, on the other hand, video settings. You know this records at 720p max, so high def video uh, quality. You can also go a uh, different resolution settings if you like. Um, there's also encoding type, you can do MPEG or H.263. Um, but we will do a couple of videos that should be attached directly with this of uh, 720p indoors and outdoors. Um, actually, you do have some videos here. Just look at another video playback. Um, this is those camera shots with the car. This is outdoor video. So you can 
see that. So we definitely would attach this to the review. And um, yeah, so. Yeah, this is Sunday. I'm recording with the HTC Evo at 720p. So you guys can check this out. I'll do one outdoors quickly, probably about 30 seconds. Um, some modern warfare there. Um, let's see how it looks around, span it around. Indoors here for a second. So there you have it. That's recording at 720p. You guys enjoyed it. Indoors. Bye. So I'm recording outdoors in 720p with the uh, HTC Evo. You guys can check it out. Do another 30 seconds like we did indoors. Um, just showing you how good the camera is. How it looks like. Uh, what you expect to see. That kind of fun stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, check this out. Alright, cool. so that's a look at the... HTC Evo from Sprint. Oh, I did forget to mention it does have a HDMI out at the bottom, um, which is mini HDMI to HDMI, uh, as well as a uh, uh, micro USB uh, charger. So um, there you have it. It's a very solid device. I like the weight and feel. Um, comes with internal memory of eight gigabytes, um, expandable with a SD flash. You can open the back. And you know you can go up to 32, 16, whatever amount you want. But um, again, it's a very solid, solid phone, solid device. HTC has done a good job here. And I mean, if you're on the Sprint network or you want to enjoy 4G, you have 4G in your area. Um, this phone is for you. So uh, this is Thunder E from Border Work. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page, our Facebook page, also our Twitter page. It's all Border Work. Um, also, um, hit us up on Google Buzz if you, if you can. It's Border Work there also. So this is Thunder E from Border Work saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.